Hey, it's Sam here, and I'm back in zone for another workout. So it's the road to 300 pounds. And this is just a calf workout, so it's a little bit easier than yesterday where I was doing doing the legs, mostly the quads. This is calves, which I like to do on their own because I feel like they never get done full force if you don't tackle them on their own. So I'm gonna show you my first exercise, which is doing calf raises on a horizontal leg press. It's a really good way of doing it because it allows easier blood flow in and out of your calves. So we're doing a little warm up set here on light weight. And I'm actually gonna superset it with body weight calf raises on the wooden block that I've got set up here. It's the most difficult calf exercise that I've got on the go in my routine at the moment. And it's working really well. So with this exercise, you just put the legs straight, slight bend in the knees, shuffle your toes down to the bottom of the pad. You can do calf raises here. So I'm just doing a little warm up. And then we'll get started properly. I'm gonna do several exercises for calves. And we'll see just how much volume I put into calves. Kind of similar to other, other muscle groups like the chest and the shoulders, how much I'm doing on calves. But it's starting to show, and since I took that high volume approach, and especially since I put this super set, this exercise in, I did actually gain an inch on my calves. So it's working, I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, that's fine like that. So, all warmed up. I sometimes stretch them in between exercises, but not at the start of the workout, not between the sets. Okay, set one, horizontal calf races. Horizontal leg press calf races. Super sat, quickly move around to here. I stabilize myself by just holding the frame of the machine I'm next to. And I'm on this wooden block here where I can get the heels all the way down. And standing calf races, body, body weight there. Set one done. Set two, I can go a touch heavier. And take it up to 300. Here we go. feels a little bit like a drop set as well as a super set because obviously you're going a lot lighter than you'd normally do on standing half races where you've got all the pads and the, the weight from the machine stack on your back. But after these horizontal leg press half races, doing it with just body weight is quite sufficient. Right, this one you're gonna see from a different angle here. You see me with pressing just with my feet. Careful, I don't the camera. Oh. 
shuffle them down there. the last set now something i thought to mention just now as well that you can't see from the video but i can only feel because i'm doing it myself is putting the weight that's on your toes spread evenly between your toes so i find that if you put all the weight of it on the exercise on just the big toe it's just the inner part of the calves the inner part of the gastro cinema so you can feel working to so really feel it working on the the outside which is more underdeveloped for most people you will spread the weight a little bit onto the rest of your toes and feel that you're pressing through all the rest of the toes you can sort of feel that a lot more in the outer the outer head of the the calves so i'm going to focus on that again here for this last set and then we'll move on to another exercise Now we're going to do a calf raise on another unusual machine you may not have seen before. I'm going to do it, you can't see it at the moment because of the camera angle, but I'm going to do it on the linear hack press. So a linear hack press is basically a hack squat that your bum sits in instead of the weight being on the pads on your shoulders. But again, if you shuffle your feet to the bottom of the platform, you can do calf raises on it. And I find it particularly good for the stretch that you get at the bottom of the movement. So I've already loaded this up so I can show you the first set now of calf raises on a linear hack squat. Set one, press up, release the catch, shuffle the feet down and then we're ready to go. It's another one where I like to just feel the calves are engaged at the start of the movement there and then just leave it. Here's another camera angle where you can see just how good this gym is. This is zone, my usual one. And they've got all of the leg stuff over this way, all the back stuff over this way, three weights further over there, and then the shoulders stuff all behind me. Set two, shuffle the feet down. Oh. Oh. oh, that 
that's good. It's one that I've stuck with for a while. It doesn't feel quite as intense as the first thing I did, but obviously that was a super set, so maybe you can't compare. Other exercises I really like for calves are donkey calf raises, where you're bent over this way with the pad on your lower back and your hips and calf racing like that. Standing one I actually don't like so much because I find getting the right angle on the pads pushing straight up a bit awkward for me and I find they leave scratches all over your shoulders just here. So not a huge fan of it and obviously blood flow to the calves is like really bad when you're stood straight up like that. It's nowhere near as much pump as you get from doing that horizontal leg press calf raise. So that's probably my least favourite, even though it's the most common. And then for the soleus, which runs all the way underneath those more prominent calf muscles and all the way down to near your ankles, I like the seated calf raise, which most people would, and they've got that here as well. But I can go straight into set three here. I'm going to stop paddling and just get on with it. set four this is probably the only other angle worth showing on this before I move on drop off is there oh, I can see I can see that for myself it really hurts yeah it's time to move on right I'm back now I'm moving on to the seated calf raises that's talking about before for the soleus I just had a little break and a drink and was chatting to a couple of friends that's what I like about it in the zone is I've got to know everyone here and really good community I find it really supportive like working out in the gym where everyone's really into it and I was uh, just talking to one of my friends who works here and then my friend the bodybuilder Jim Giorgio who was in one or two of the same contests that I'd done last year super heavyweight bodybuilder like one of the biggest guys you'll ever see actually and uh, I was just catching up with him and hearing about his massive diet which is about a thousand calories more than mine and now I'm resuming the exercise, so I'll just get on with it. A little bit heavier than usual, this. Set two. I always find it's easiest to get my feet like exactly how I want them before I put the the knee rest down. There we go, locked in now. I actually really enjoy training calves. I feel like 
maybe they're a bit harder to grow like people say they are because there's less fast twitch fibers in that part of the body on most people but there's never a cue for the calves machines i feel like they're not trained intensely enough or regularly enough to see much progress for most people but i think especially if you compete and you stood there you look at the physique top to toe like from top to bottom it's like a quarter of what's there what's on your calves so i feel like it looks looks like there's really something missing if you've got very weak weak skinny calves it looks particularly wrong if your legs are really well developed so maybe i don't have that problem yet but i don't want to let the let the calves lag behind i put a lot of work in on doing these proper separate sessions for them so sometimes I'll do these sessions like in the same day as something else, usually on one of the you know slightly easier days like arms or shoulders. I'll eat <coughs> either first thing in the morning, pop in and do calves, or do them uh, do them later on, or do them on a day that would have been a rest day, and that means that they'll get like done two or three times a week just as a separate thing. But it means that when I do get on and do calves I'm hitting them full force and they're not just like an afterthought after a leg day when you're already exhausted and that's been working well for me with these particular exercise choices I'll do the last set on here now didn't make it back onto the stopper. <sighs> oh, I can sort of say that was training to failure then. I'll put these away and move on. And my last exercise for today is going to be the donkey calf raises. So it's that angle I was explaining before. We've got a machine for it here. This machine's by Nitram. You don't see it in many places, so it's good to take advantage of it while I'm in this gym today. It might take me one or two sets to get the settings right on it because I haven't used it for a while. And basically you get into it like this and then lean forwards on the front pad it's got a block down here for your feet yeah, oh. yeah that's it good so having a machine for this is probably a little bit less embarrassing than like back in the day we had like Schwarzenegger and his buddy and they're like riding him basically while he's doing some kind of bent over donkey calf races and feet on the block I remember like seeing that exercise like in the encyclopedia of modern bodybuilding thinking yeah like, unless there's a machine for this I'll probably be giving that a miss like I'm pretty close to my friends, but I don't, I don't need them riding me just to get bigger calves. So, set two. you can see it the other way for this final set I'm running fairly low on battery so it's gonna to have to be the final set and I'm gonna make sure to lift heavier on this next time because I'm doing just fine on this which I'm quite pleased with after those super sets and all that other stuff to start with Oh. 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 
Oh, oh, and that's the calves destroyed. Right, I just want to congratulate you if you've made it this far, because I know most people aren't really that interested in training calves. That's always puzzled me, right? Because it's kind of like one of those muscles that you get that you can really show off without looking like you're showing off. Like you could just be wearing shorts and have big calves and everything else covered up or like having big forearms. They just kind of stick out there without doing anything. So as well as it making you look more complete to have them, I feel like it's pretty cool if you have, you have well-developed calves. So it was a good session and I hope it's given you some ideas. I actually think that's a more thorough calves routine than you, you're going to see anywhere else. If you think there's a more extreme calves routine on a YouTube video, send it to me and uh, I'll replicate it. I can do that. So please let me know. You can find about calves routine in the comments. If you like my workouts and other explanations, consider subscribing. And lastly, check out this mural in the entrance of Zone Gym, Big Ron. So. I got to meet him here, thoroughly nice guy, and this is what people do when they go to expos and meet these guys, they like pretend to be bigger than them by like, hey how about that, hey, hey. that's what people do when they're really sad and they go to an expo and they want to look bigger than someone in real life, but Ronnie Coleman, the biggest, the biggest Mr. Olympia I guess, Anyone bigger than him is just not really like the same condition or proportions, so he's, he's got to be the greatest, I would say. And yeah, a thoroughly nice guy. I was pleased to meet him and uh, get some stuff signed. Bit of inspiration there. I think he gave so much to it that he ended up in the, the kind of state he's in now, but I don't think he, don't think he regrets it at all. Just you made yourself a real legend if you achieved that much and definitely one of the strongest bodybuilders, I'd say now. I'm most impressed with the strength of James Hollingshead, so I'm looking forward to seeing him at the Arnold Classics this year. And uh, loads of bodybuilding to look forward to. I'm kind of sad that there's not a season at the moment, but it'll all be coming back in a couple of months and probably I'll have a few things to say about that as well. So, Happy New Year again, and I look forward to catching you in the next video on this Road to £300. Cheers.